This latest round of heavy and wet snow is keeping power crews busy. Line crews worked on restoration today, efforts up and down the Wasatch Front. New specialist Shelby Lofton give us a look at the repairs in Farmington. While a lot of people had a delayed start to their day or just stayed at home to get their work done, this kind of weather brings these crews out to get their work done, and it really just hasn't stopped this winter. It's uh, spring break, believe it or not. <laughs> the peace of this neighborhood freshly blanketed with snow. When I came out, noticed that the uh, power lines, the snow was shaking and dropping. Was disturbed by a loud pop and sparks. And a loud boom and noise, yellow and white lights. Heavy snow brought down this transmission line on 500 South. You see downed lines, treat them as if they were alive. That's what Paul Zaleski did. So I rushed back inside, called 911. Crews tackled this power pole for hours. Everybody else is doing all the work. We're just watching. We've just got really heavy, wet snow. And what that does is it weighs down not only the power lines, but also tree branches. You get, you get br trees breaking into to the power lines. Rocky Mountain Power spokesperson Tiffany Erickson says this storm didn't impact as many customers as previous storms. From about 4 o'clock this morning, we've seen about 3,600 customers impacted. She says other storms have knocked out power from more than 10 to 15,000 customers. Snow or shot. Yeah, grandson and granddaughter love to watch this kind of stuff. Up and down. We have crews that have been on standby since yesterday that have been watching this storm and watching it progress. Linemen will keep at it until the snow moves out. Looks like they've got everything fixed and uh, re getting ready to power things up again. And a reminder that you can call or text Rocky Mountain Power to report an outage in your area. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.